And now, WZDX Sports with Mo Carter. National Signing Day is a day that a lot of kids dream of. Today we had quite a few athletes across the Tennessee Valley putting the pen to the paper. And a lot of eyes were in the shows area today as Florence quarterback D. Beckwith started off this morning choosing between Florida and Tennessee. As I said, I was in my education, a multi-sport career at the University of As you can see, Beck with choosing to take his talents to Knoxville where he'll be playing both football and basketball after months of being tasked with the decision on where to play. He said he knew a couple of weeks ago at his last in-home visit with Rangeville native Jeremy Pruitt that he was going to sign with the Vols. It wasn't even about football and it wasn't even about sports. You know, it was just a relationship we had and, you know, uh, similarities we had like with family and all. So it just clicked after all that. And then I knew then that it was going to be Tennessee. Let's stay in the show's area. The UNA Lions adding two more players to their signing class, giving them a total of 15 this year. Cornerback Juan Carlo Marajaro from Clearwater, Florida, along with San Jose State transfer defensive end Terrell Thompson round out this year's class. Out of the 15 players in this year's class, 12 of them are transfers. Head coach Chris Willis, he's hoping that all of the experience will help them moving forward. Well, we do want to win now. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to build for the future. But I'm also trying to win ball games now, and by sprinkling these older guys in with this youth, I think it gives us, uh, you know, some maturity, uh, some experience. All right, now over in Athens, Keenan Hambrick had a tough decision to make this morning. When the dust settled, the All-State wide receiver decided to sign with Western Carolina. He says playing college ball gets him one step closer to his dreams of playing in the NFL, where his uncle and dad both played. My dad and my uncle, when, uh, they all went to the league, so... It ain't, I'm not the first one to go to college, but it's definitely an achievement that I always wanted to achieve in my life, so I'm really blessed. Another guy signing to play at the next level was Trey Lockhart over at Bob Jones. Today's signing was emotional for the six-foot cornerback as he thanked his family and paid tribute to his late mother who passed away recently. His father helped him announce the decision, which was to take his talents to Jackson State University in Mississippi. I feel accomplished, but... I know everything is not over yet. I still got to go to college, get done for my mom, for her sake, and for everybody's sake. Just get done, go down to college, do great on the field and off the field, in the classroom, off the classroom. That was the best decision for me to go to Jackson State, just family, family-wise. Everybody's from Mississippi, so just staying with the family is good for me and good for them. Three other Patriots signing their letters of intent today, one of which is heading to JSU SWAC East rival of Alabama A&M. We'll actually hear from him in just a few moments. Putting local sports first. You're watching WZDX Sports. After losing out on the SWAC Eastern Division crown by a foot last season, Connell Manor and his staff worked hastily during the offseason to fill some needs in several spots. And at the end of the day, they picked up a large amount in a solid class in recent memory. Now the Bulldog staff signing 20 new players, including 10 on defense in their 2020 signing class. Now the staff hit the states of Alabama, Florida, Georgia, and even North Carolina very hard. Coach Manor and his staff were quite impressed with this year's results about this signing class and, and what these guys, the potential they have and produce and, and help us win some football games next year, get us over that hump. So, um, you know, from the offense line, the defense line, the secondary guys to the running backs that we sign, uh, we're very pleased. You know, we think all these guys got a chance to come in and uh, play at some point this year. Alabama A&M did search locally for some of their guys in the 2020 class and the results were positive. Three local guys, Lee Coleman and Dylan Blackburn of James Clements, along with Khalil Griffin of Sparkman, all signed natural letter of intent with Alabama A&M. Derek Weddle of Bob Jones will join A&M as a preferred walk-on. All of these future Bulldogs are ready to be a part of Manor time. Uh, just the coaching staff. Um, they, they're like a family to me. Um, they're on first program to switch out to me when I, was a, when I was a junior, and they've always kept me close. So I knew it was coming out home. Well, like I stepped on campus. They were my first scholarship, and they have been recruiting me for like a whole year. <laughs> and it just felt like home, even though it's like really close. I'm a big family guy, so I really like to see my family. Yeah, I want to do the same thing I did here, just be a great guy, be the best guy I can be. Coach, he came in, changed the program around, which, is, which I'm very excited for. He gave me the opportunity. They've always, my dad always told me, go where you want it, and that's where they wanted me. So I feel like 
We're going to do something special over there. Now, let's talk about Coach Mac Hampton. Of course, he signed with Alabama A&M years ago. Now he's got five guys at R.A. Hubbard who are going to the next level. We talked about Stewart going to Tennessee Valley Prep, Demetrius Bean going to Birmingham, Matoya Kellogg going to Faulkner, and Kanai McCoy going to Miles College. Coach Hampton, very proud. Anytime you have guys that can um, do something as, as phenomenal as signing to, to, to further their education and their careers and, and, and to play football, do something they love, as, as a coach, that's what you do it for. That's why you get up every morning. All right, Austin High School linebacker, awesome. Harris signing his natural letter of intent with Donald Hill, Ely, and Alabama State. This is a very bold move for a guy whose entire family went to arch rival Alabama A&M. So his family will be split at this year's Magic City Classic. Dad, my grandma, uh, they actually went to Alabama A&M, so it's kind of a conflict, it's conflict in the house. But, um, yeah, I'm actually glad to be able to play in this, uh, to be around a lot of people from the area, and just to be a rival or just to be in the game, it's just a blessing to me.